Hey, what's up, YouTube? Joe Gass here with another iPod and iPhone tutorial for you guys today on how to make your iPod a virtual storage device with the help of one application available in the App Store. So now you could store files on your iPod. It's sort of like a hard drive. You could view them, you could edit them, you could print them. It's very advanced, and you should really check it out. The application is called Air Sharing, and it's five dollars in the App Store, or there is a pro version for ten. So just type that in and download either or. I have Air Sharing Pro, and I'm going to open that up for you guys now. <clears throat> and when you open it, it should have two in the My Documents category all the way back here, right in there. There should be two folders, for example, Public and Samples. In samples are all of the different types of files you could have. You could have any file and view them. So, for example, here's a picture. It's that. It's just an example that comes. It's with the, four o'clock. It it uh, it comes with the app. Okay. So, as you can see, if I click it, there's a little paper with an arrow. If I press that, I could save that to my photos. I could print it or email it. Now, how the printing works is if you have a printer that's online. It will detect it and it will actually print it. It's very advanced. I could save to my photos as well as you see that there. Say I want to open up a, um, uh, there is an iWork pages document and these show the documents. It's very advanced. It's actually amazing how this works. If there is a, I think this is an edible text document, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm trying to find one right now. So, yeah, guys. I, there's not an example of one. But anyway, I'm going to tell you how to set this up. So there is a question mark down there. And if you press that, it's going to load into this view. And connecting to iPhones, what you want to do. So it tells you how to do it for Windows Vista, Mac OS X, Windows XP, Linux, or to do it via a, a web browser. I'm on Mac OS X, so I'm going to do the in-depth tutorial. And then it'll give you an example. So it tells you your current IP address and its bonjour address. All right. So what we want to do now, it says type command K. So what we want to do is click on our finder, press command K. A window should come up. And what you want to do is type in what you have type what you have right here into the server address. Press connect. It's loading. You type in your password for your computer. And there you go. We now have a um folder and as you can tell these are the folders that are in our iPod, the public and the samples. So Say I want to take a song from my library here. Um, let me just find a quick song. Show and Finder. Okay. Now what I could do is copy and paste that right into my server folder. And as you can see, it already transferred to my iPod. So I'm going to click it and, and look it. When I click it, it plays it. I'm not going to play the whole song, but yeah. So now I have an MP3 actually stored onto my iPod. So it's amazing. What you could do is amazing. I but I don't want that there. I mean, it's really good, guys. I could um edit, select one, delete it if I want, rename it, copy it, move. Say I want to zip it. I just select it, press, um, oh, wrong button. Edit. I select it, press zip. And now I have a zip folder of it. I mean, say I don't want it, I just delete that. Yes. I mean, it's amazing, guys. So, that's how to pretty much make your iPod a virtual storage device. Thanks for watching, guys. And if this helped, please comment, rate, and subscribe.